Forza Alberto. The fan club for Alberto Tomba, but follows him everywhere. I've followed him to Spain. And the Italian blasted out to whistles from the crowd following some comments he'd made about skiing in Spain. However, Tomba had always said throughout the season that the World Championships in Sierra Nevada was his main goal of the year. He had everything else in the trophy cabinet at home apart from the World Championship gold medal. And he set about getting his first one in prolific style in the men's giant slalom. The Italians were on a roll and Tomba was flying. The quickest time of the first run, first down the mountain and first on the list. Breathtaking skiing from La Bomba. Giant Slalom, of course, is all about two legs. And Urs Kalin was in fourth after the first. Kalin, one of the finest Giant Slalom skiers of the era. This is very much his specialist discipline. Already a winner, having beaten Alberto Tomba when the race went right down to the wire earlier in the season. And he had a huge advantage ahead of his teammate Steve Loscher, who was leading at this stage. Kaden, a fine technician on skis, found the going a little bit tough halfway down, and one mistake possibly cost him the gold medal. Familiar white hat of Urs Kaden and a familiar style as well. The Swiss, of course, were still looking for their first gold medal of the games and looked to Urs Kalin to perhaps bring them that gold. And when you look at the time difference, everybody thought that that was going to be unbeatable. Kalin in gold medal position. Michael von Grunigen, also of Switzerland, had a great season last year and he went on to win the Giant Slalom World Cup title. And because of his consistency on the World Cup, he came into the World Championships as the big favourite, perhaps even more of a favourite than Tomba, who people had doubted. Von Grunigen, however, eventually had to settle for bronze, unable to go quicker than his teammate Urs Kalin, despite having the first leg advantage. Silver medal position at that stage with one skier to go. That skier, of course, was Alberto Tomba of Italy, who produced one of the finest recoveries ever, ever seen in alpine skiing. Watch this. Tomba was practically horizontal on the hill, and even he must have thought that he'd blown his chances at that stage, but the intermediate time showed that Tomba was still in front. Alberto wanted this so much. And he was well on his way with just the final dozen turns to negotiate. Onto the final steep section. The Swiss pair of Kalin and von Grunigen looked up at the scoreboard as La Bomba stormed through to take his first ever World Championship gold medal. Half a second almost the difference. The Italians celebrated long into the night.
this recovery will go down as one of the best ever seen. In slow motion, you see exactly what La Bomba had to do to stay on course. Tomba finally realized his dream, the one thing that was missing from his collection, the World Championship gold medal. And of course, there was still the slalom to come.